and welcome to Beacon Coffee. My name is Kelsey and today I'm excited to be talking you through my all-time favourite method of brewing coffee. The Chemex! This beautiful coffee maker is how both I and James Bond prefer to start our mornings. Today we're going to be using a dose of 50 grams of coffee and 750 grams of brew water, giving us a brew ratio of 1 to 15. Now this is enough to share. If you prefer to make a little less coffee, you can drop the coffee and the brew water. Just maintain that brew ratio of 1 to 15. Today we're going to be using the iconic 8 cup Woodneck Chemex. And as always, we're going to need a couple of other things. Firstly, delicious medium ground coffee. Today we're using the El Lilo. And this coffee from Costa Rica has been processed using anaerobic fermentation which has resulted in some really wild fruity flavors, which I think are going to shine in the Chemex. Secondly, we have filtered water. And this is just off the boil in a gooseneck kettle. Now the gooseneck is really important because it allows us to control our pour. We're actually using a Chemex kettle, or chettle if you want to pronounce it phonetically. Thirdly, my scales with an inbuilt timer. And finally, Chemex filter papers. Now Chemex filter papers are 20 to 30% thicker than anything else on the market. And this results in an iconically clean, easy drinking cup of coffee. I am team paper filter all the way. But if you prefer something a little bit bolder with more body, then I'd urge you to check out the reusable Able Cone. This is a metal filter, which has been specifically designed for use in the Chemex. Now the Chemex filter papers, they're actually a single piece of paper which has been folded into four sheets. Take three sheets and separate them from one sheet, pulling it into a cone. Place that in your Chemex. Importantly, you want to keep the three sheets towards the spout side, and this is going to prevent an airlock forming. This airlock would stall your brew, which you don't want. Now I'm going to rinse my paper filter, and this has the added bonus of preheating my Chemex. To discard the rinse water, which let me tell you is very, very important, we're going to tilt the Chemex with the spout side up and it will just pour out, which is great because we don't want to remove and replace the filter paper. Now our Chemex is ready for me to pop in the coffee and I'm going to give it a gentle shake just enough to settle it into an even flat bed of coffee. I can now place my Chemex on the scales and bloom the coffee. To do this, I simply tear my scales, start the timer, and pour in 150 grams of water. I'm trying to evenly saturate the grounds. If I think there are any that I've missed, I can use a spoon to give it a gentle stir. Just want to make sure all of those grounds are saturated for the bloom and that's going to bubble away for 45 seconds. That's a bloom of 150 grams of water for 45 seconds. At the 45 second mark I can commence the first of three 200 gram pours. 45 seconds and go. I'm pouring in even concentric circles from the center out, stopping short of pouring directly onto the filter paper. Adding 200 grams brings me to 350 grams. Between each pour, I'm going to allow the water level to drain about one inch. You'll notice that when I'm pouring, I'm actually rotating from my ankles instead of my wrist or my shoulder. And this keeps the spout at a really consistent angle and it gives you a nice even pour. Now that it's drained about one inch, I can continue with my next two 200 gram pours. Now in between pours is the perfect time to give you some of my fun Chemex facts. So the Chemex was invented in 1941 by a German chemist, Dr. Peter Schlombaum, and he emigrated to America where he patented basically everything. He has over 300 patents, everything from cocktail shakers to automobiles. 
And since then, the Chemex has truly become an icon of American culture. It's actually on permanent exhibit at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. You're gonna see it in movies and in TV shows like Friends, all over the shop. In fact, all over our shops, it's how we choose to brew coffee behind the bar. Alrighty, and my final pour has brought me to 750 grams. All I need to do now is wait for the coffee to filter through. Now the coffee has filtered through, all that's left to do is grab our paper filter and chuck it and the coffee into the compost. Swirl and sniff. Really good, I'm excited. Now I'm going to pour myself a cup. And we can say cheers to the Chemex. <laughs>